please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Here's a tutorial on how to use the argparse module in Python to pass parameters to a function. The argparse module in Python provides an easy way to parse command line arguments and parameters. It allows you to define the parameters your script can accept and parses those arguments into Python data types. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use argparse to pass parameters to a Python function. Start by importing the argparse module. Create an argument parser object. This object will hold all the information about the command line arguments, such as what arguments are acceptable, what they look like, and what values they can take. Add arguments using the add underscore argument method. This method allows you to define what arguments your script should accept. You can specify the argument's name, type, help message, and other attributes. Let's create a simple example with a function that calculates the square of a number. We'll pass this number as an argument. Parse the arguments using parse underscore args. This method will read the command line arguments and convert them into Python data types. Create a function that utilizes the argument, s, parsed from the command line. In this case, we'll create a function to calculate the square of a number. Execute the function with the parsed argument obtained using parse underscore args. Save the script in a file, let's say square underscore calculator dot py. Open your terminal or command prompt, navigate to the directory where the script is saved, and run it as follows. Replace 5 with any number you want to calculate the square of. The output will display the square of the provided number. This tutorial demonstrated how to use the argparse module to pass parameters to a Python function. You can extend this approach to handle multiple arguments, optional arguments, flags, and more complex use cases, enabling you to create scripts that accept various parameters from the command line. ChatGPT